lovelies welcome back to the channel we're gonna do another reading today and today's reading is going to be good news to heal your heart okay um, I wanted to say a big hello to all of the new subscribers um, a huge welcome and um, also a huge thank you to everyone who has been part of this community already um, and then who has contributed in the comments, um, who's liked, who's subscribed, thank you so much. Um, I have been reading the comments, I know I haven't been getting back to them lately. Um, to be honest, I've been just in like not a bad place, but not the best place. Um, so I, and I um, see comments in videos where I can see that people are hurting and I feel like my videos just don't help sometimes because I don't want to give people um, any kind of, I don't want to instill any fear or any, um, I'm trying to think of the right way to word it, but I don't know, I just feel like I'm having a bit of a negative influence at the moment and I know that I do have a positive influence as well, but um, I'm struggling to focus on it at the moment. So. I wanted to do a positive message for you guys um, and a healing message, okay? Um, so I hope this helps you all today. We're going to start by setting the intention. I'm running out of matches and I'm going to have to get some new ones. So. On behalf of our greatest and highest good, in perfect comfort, pardon me, and clarity, <laughs> bad time to have a hiccup. <laughs> I ask that whatever messages come through for you today do come through from a place of love and healing, gratitude, fortitude, and that we can find some positive messages today. Oh, it's going to burn my fingers. Okay. All right. So we have group number one with the Malachite. Group number two with the Amethyst. And group number three with the rose quartz. So you can take your time, take a deep breath, take it in and breathe it out. Okay. And you can pause the video if you need to, but otherwise I'm going to start with group number one who chose the Malachite. Okay. So we're going to start with the tarot and see what messages come through for group number one who chose the Malachite. I'm trying to get the general theme um, of, of this situation, what good news is coming in. So straight up we have the Four of Pentacles and we also have the Four of Swords. So two fours. So um, definitely this is going to be about your material success, building wealth and building um uh, finding satisfaction in your studies or in work, okay? Um, I'm feeling like you've had to really start small, really start from the bottom to build your way up and it's taking time. You have to learn your lessons and contemplate over these lessons that you've been learning, okay? But I'm seeing that it's really building like this colourful world for you that um, I feel like a lot of you have access to the city for work. Um, you might not be from the city, but even here, like you have access to like a buzzing kind of vibrant energy through this. So it is um, really good for you. And even like it's starting to become a part of you. You're starting to think on your feet and um, become someone who is comfortable in this vibrant world. But I do feel like a lot of you are introverts. So you do need to retreat, okay, um, and find some space, which is good for you, I'm hearing. Like that's the right thing to do. You need to recharge. Let's see what comes out from the tarot. Ooh, okay. We have the Seven of Swords and the Seven of Cups. So two sevens again. So um, 
Sevens are about finding integrity, finding truth, and um, intellectual pursuit. So just confirmation here again that this is about um, work or study, career kind of factors, um, or your life mission, your life purpose. And again, we see colors in the background, the red shoes sinking on your feet, but now it's coming into your head space as well. You're starting to think like someone who... Um, is a part of this world I feel like this is really kind of it's been alien to you in the past whatever it is that you're pursuing you really had to learn how to think and feel like these people that you're surrounding yourself with so that you could be a part of the community it's very it's a very tribal attitude okay it's, it goes right back down to um our basic biology our basic instinct is to be a part of a tribe okay and I feel like you're trying to emulate the energy and the characteristics of these people that you're surrounded with daily like your colleagues your bosses your work friends and you're doing it for your personal growth okay but in a way you feel like you're deceiving um people because it's not completely the truth of who you are and with the seven of cups it's like you're trying to figure out like well who am I really because I want to be like these people but you know I do need this space to retreat it's not entirely who I am I don't want them to catch up and think that you know I'm I'm faking this but I'm hearing fake it till you make it you know like what you're doing is not deceptive I feel like you feel like you're being deceptive like you don't really belong there and you're um seeking validation like you need validation from these people but um like this like great entity like the um maybe the boss or the the top of the pack you know the person who has like most of the social power the social standing or even just collectively them as a whole their energy you're seeking approval from them and trying to figure out which parts of them that you like the most that you can reflect genuinely in yourself um and I think this is why you're seeking this retreat because you're contemplating you still want to remain true to yourself and you're contemplating um how to yeah remain authentic we have the star yes so i'm seeing that you're really going to find a way to um integrate these lessons and these personality traits that you're trying to take on into your own ego into your own front of your personality and it's going to be perceived like a star like it's really going to be um well valued you're going to be well valued you're going to be appreciated by these people that you are trying to seek validation with or from you are going to be accepted as part of the tribe and you're even going to be a favorite you know you, you might even end up being the top of the social pack you know um and I feel like you'll come from a really genuine place you will be coming from an authentic place you'll be coming from your future you who has evolved and integrated all these parts of your new self into your old self it's not that you are dishonoring who you are it's just that you've evolved okay and you really value that and it's valued by others also okay I feel like it comes from a place of purity from kind intention and in doing that you will be nourishing those around you you will be sharing the fruit of your own um, personal growth with those around you okay you never know how one little thing that you do can affect um so 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 many people okay and that's why I'm seeing you know what you take in you pour back out into the universe in a positive beautiful way what else is coming out the full so then you'll be ready for a new start um in life maybe new pursuits that are more oriented towards the goals that the future you has but still pertains to the values of the current you um you will have more faith in the universe you will have more faith in in um in in unforeseen roads like you won't be scared to walk down a road blindfolded and being guided by the universe you you'll probably enjoy that I feel like you will enjoy things that are um surprising okay that you can't anticipate because I feel like um especially with the representations of the sevens I feel like you are very intelligent and you can anticipate a lot in life and so you get bored easily okay so um I do feel like 
yes, like coming into this future, you are going to have many great surprises come into your life. Um, one of which including love. If you are not currently in a loving relationship, if you are in one, then you're only going to see improvements and more passion, more fire in that relationship as well. I'm hearing, um, I feel like for some of you, you will quite literally get a dog. Like, I feel like that's a message. Like you will get a dog. Um, or you're going to have a very important companion by your side that comes through from this evolution that you're going through. Um, and it's like literally you are this seed that is constantly flourishing, constantly growing. Like you can literally sprout life from your hands. So we have the King of Swords, we have the Seven of Wands, the Five of Wands, we have the Queen of Cups, the Hermit, and the Three of Wands. These all came out in a big group. So... As I said, like, it looks like love is coming into your life. And I feel like this person is going to really reflect your personal integrity and your personal personal truth. Um, you could meet them through work. Or if you're currently in a relationship, then this person is going to help govern your principles and morals in your workplace, okay? I feel like you two reflect each other really beautifully and you help each other be really practical, the best practical selves you can be to fight a lot of battles. Um, I feel like you will be in the future coming into this place where you're going to have some battles to fight but it's good because it's going to I feel like they're going to be more battles of the heart and they're going to grow you outwards they're going to expand you and evolve you and actually bring you further happiness um and realize your strength and fortitude as well so they're actually going to bring you into a place of appreciation for yourself um i'm also seeing at this time you're going to be a little bit more settled um not as proactive as you are in, in the current phase of your life i feel like you're going to have more time to relax and kind of bounce in and out of that proactive life when you want to and back into that relaxed state when you need to be so right now it's more so like when you get a moment to pause and breathe, you're like, oh, thank God, like, you need to be introverted. But in the future, I'm seeing you'll have that choice of, you know, finding balance between those two places. Um, but I do feel like um, you're going to have some internal battles because part of you is going to want to focus on the heart. Another part of you is going to want to focus on practical pursuits. And another part of you is going to want to just explore life and, and be free. Um, so... And I feel like that is going to bring maybe a little bit of darkness to you because you're going to feel so conflicted um, and you might even become ill from it. Um, nothing major, just like a rash or something that presents from the stress that you're feeling. But it's actually going to be really good for you because it's going to bring you this inner peace, this inner knowing of who you are emotionally. And it's like all the past of what you've been through is going to be in it. In, intertwined in how you now govern and think and um, find your place in the world and um, present yourself um, through the manifestation of your ego in a positive way, okay? And I feel like you'll want to protect that. You'll want to protect the lessons you'll learn. You'll really be grateful for them. You'll really value them and you'll often reflect on them as something that you are glad happened to you because it's like a light that shined you through to the right direction, through to the right path. It actually brought you out from a cold place that you didn't even know that you were in at the time. They were challenges that had to happen so that you could 
wear them with pride so that you could show the world that you are strong, you do have integrity, and you are proud of that. You can be a warrior when you need to be. You can be the brave spirit when you need to be, and you can also be the soft heart, okay? You, you, you have all of those qualities combined into one. And it builds like this beautiful structure of you that, you know, I wouldn't want to cross you if I, <laughs> if I were daring to challenge you. You would come from a place of sympathy and love, but also doing what's needed to guard the things that you love, okay? But you wouldn't be harsh or cruel. You would just be pragmatic, I'm hearing. Um, so, yeah, you... You have some really beautiful evolutions coming through, I'm hearing. Let's take some Moonology cards. We have emotions are running high, the super moon. Yeah, so as I said, I see all these um, people in this card as like, you know, your heart chakra, your solar plexus and your sacral chakra all kind of battling for um, presidents. But you, I feel like you're going to learn how to balance all of your chakras and integrate them and prioritize them all at once. But your emotions will be running high whilst you learn that lesson. And even, like, if you realize, like, from this card, like, the heart chakra, although wears the shirt, it's still kind of um, governed by the sacral chakra with passion. The sacral chakra is, is governed by the solar plexus, okay? But even the heart chakra is there, too, and... The solar plexus is there too. So already you can see in this card how beautifully it depicts that integration of um, your different priorities and your different needs. Because um, like the chakras represents all the different needs of the human integration. And um, I think you're going to learn that lesson really beautifully about how you can, how you can please it all and how you can um, positively integrate them all together. But, yeah, it will be, like, emotions are going to be running high in that time. But surrender to the divine and trust, which I said, you, you will find that trust and you will trust in the divine and have faith in the universe because you'll realize and know deeply that you and your loved ones are safe, okay? And this could be happening in um, the cancer season coming into July um, and August. So this could be something that you'll experience soon because we've just had the full moon. Um, so, yeah, this could be starting now. And luck is on your side, the new moon in Sagittarius. Um, so just remember that if you're ever having any doubts, um, any insecurities, remember that luck is on your side and that you and your loved ones are safe. And I feel like you're going to come into this place of knowing in the future that luck is always on your side and you and your loved ones are always safe. You're just going to have that innate trust um, and you're really going to be able to manifest and create just this beautiful, beautiful life for yourself and for those around you. Um, consequentially, it's really beautiful. Um just know that you are protected and sometimes what's protecting you can feel like something that's going to attack you or something that incites fear um but it's actually um it might be guys like that but it's actually there for your benefit so um have faith have faith Okay, group number one, that is all I have for you. I hope that you enjoyed that reading. Um, please let me know in the comments if that made you feel positive as I'm trying to come up with some more positive readings, things that, go, that are going to incite um, hope in the right way um, and inspiration and love um, and not um, fear or destituteness. So um, let me know, please. And if you would like a personal reading with me, then my email is in the description box below. If you sent me an email and I haven't gotten back to you, I am um, going to get back to you soon. Um, I've just been a bit um, down lately, so I didn't want to respond when I wasn't in the right headspace. 
but um, I hope to see you in the next reading and I'm sending you lots and lots of love and I'll see you soon. Bye! Okay, hello group number two who chose the Amethyst. This is a Chevron Amethyst, I believe, just because of the um, lines and colours. Oh, sorry, it's out of perspective, but yeah. So we're going to start with the tarot and see what energy comes through for you. Okay, so straight up we have the five of pentacles in reverse and we have the ten of wands. Daisy is bear with me. Okay, so we have the five of swords. So we have two fives and a ten, which is two fives together. So um, the number five could be important for you, which is one of change, and the ten is one of endings. So I feel like you're going to have two major changes that happen, which is going to bring about an ending for you. One where you're no longer feeling alone, when you when you're no longer feeling um, solitude in a negative way, like destituteness. Um, and it could be coming towards the end of winter for you, um, if. You are currently experiencing summer, um, then yeah, you'll have to go through that summer season and the winter season towards the end of winter is when um, this will come to an end for you. These major changes, this conflict is going to be ending. Um, if you are currently experiencing winter, then it's going to be a bit sooner than that, um, like in Australia, um, one to two months. So I do feel like you have an ending coming, one where you no longer feel alone, one where you no longer feel. Um, destitute or pain or like you are lost in the dark okay guys I'm really sorry my camera cut out and I didn't realize and I'd continued with the reading um so what I was saying is that you're you've got so many fears and so many worries that it's kind of like as an entity it's all culminated into one big thing that you just can't even look at like you just need to turn away from it you it just makes you suffer having to acknowledge all of the different problems that are facing you right now. Um, but, and I feel like the fact that it's kind of formed one big energetic problem and one big fear, it actually, it, it scares you even more. But the good news is it's actually positive because it means that you can deal with it in one big swoop. You can face this fear, you can find the courage to deal with this all at once rather than having to face all these little things um, bit by bit, which would take you so long. But instead, it's culminated into one big energy that you can heal altogether, okay? And yes, it's going to be a struggle, but you are capable of it. You do have the strength and the fortitude to get through it and you will end this suffering. You will end this pain and you're actually going to walk away as the skies are clearing with even um, still some energy to fight even more. If you if you wanted to, you could, but you're not going to need to. The battle is over and the skies are clearing and I feel like you're, you're actually going to feel more energetic because you have found healing in facing these fears. You're, you've found expansion and evolution and um, have, have more space for passion and love now, okay? And that is going to um, encourage you and instigate movement towards your dreams, towards your passions. And I feel like you'll really be moving forward out of your solar plexus chakra. I feel like you're really becoming from a place of passion and um, vitality and youth and love for life, um, excitement, enviable excitement. People will be looking at you and thinking, damn, I wish I had some of that. And it's like, if only they knew that you've been there, you've been through these struggles, but you're going to be proud of those struggles. You wear them with pride, okay? Because you realize that it has turned you and it has evolved you into who you are today. And I feel like you're just going to really be walking through happier times. There's this huge like landscape of um, opportunity constantly coming your way. And you'll be coming from a place of pure intention. And it'll feel like you're flying. It'll feel like you're free. And it's almost like as you go through this time of your life with all these opportunities, all this happiness, 
It's like you'll be sprinkling a bit of that love around for everybody to share. You'll be offering it to everyone from a place of true kindness and true love and true inspiration, okay? And that's going to attract love back to you. I do feel like for some of you... Um, that you are quite religious or you're surrounded by extremely religious people who view um, passion and desire and going after what you want in life and sexuality as sinful behavior or as dirty behavior or wrong behavior that should be um, punished at the worst, at the best, um, suffocated and subdued. And you do feel trapped in that you do feel suffocated, but um, and it's blocking your sacral chakra. I don't feel like right now you have a very healthy sacral chakra. You have not integrated that aspect of yourself into the forefront of your personality where you can express yourself from a passionate place, from a dominant place, from a sexual place, knowing that as biologically someone you have the power to create, someone who has the power to sustain life, someone who um, has, you know, achieved their dreams through fortitude and is proud that they have the energy, the mental space and the resources to go after their desires. I feel like that's the person you're becoming. Okay, but right now that's really blocked and you feel trapped in by other people's opinions around you. But you are going to go through a transformation through a time of exploration where you learn that you need to heal yourself. In order to heal yourself, you need to integrate your um, part of yourself that has that sexual energy, that comes from a place of passion, that comes from a place of fire and dominance. Um, and you understand its importance and its place for creating growth in your life. Um, and for some of you, this has already happened. For those of you this hasn't happened before, it's going to be a quick transformation, okay? As you see here, we've got two fives, so we have change and ending coming. So I do feel like this is going to be one of those changes, or at the very least, it is going to be an extra change that happens really quickly. Okay, let's see what other cards come out. Okay, we have the Six of Swords. So, I actually feel like here you're going to be in the position of the ferrier. You're going to be guiding people um, out of this kind of trap that you have experienced before. You are going to be a teacher. You're going to be a speaker, someone who speaks up about how they found healing through listening to their heart and they reconnected to the earth, to the universe, to others around them and found healing and balance by escaping that kind of unhealthy mentality that they were surrounded by by through other people i'm getting like this even cultish feeling which is very specific so um that might just be for one or a few people but i do feel like some of you are caught up in this kind of cult mentality um and which you will be escaping and then we have the two of wands so yeah you'll be escaping that and if if it's not that specific for you then it is this kind of negative mindset which you know is blocking you within yourself you'll know what it is and once you free yourself from that you'll actually be guiding people it's almost like you're smuggling them out of this lifestyle and supporting them through that and you'll be looking out into a world i feel like you're really becoming from this place um you really often think from this place of passion that's really what's going to guide you in life you'll always have you know like your passionate hat on um and looking out even like um the earth is depicted as green and red rather than um blue and green and it's like 
the world to you is just going to be full of opportunities, as I said, with the Knight of Cups. And you're just going to be looking out into places that are going to fulfill your heart, that are going to fulfill um, your desires, and that you will seek out passionately. And it's just going to instigate more and more growth. And then we have the Empress. So I really feel like you are coming, you're kind of in this pre-empress energy right now and you're coming into this place where you are comfortable with being a person that goes after what they want in life, who is proud of their sexuality, is proud of um, their expression of their desires and it might look dry and boring to other people but you know, you know how much sustenance and gives you um and you you know like here it's like the chariot is um ordained with these stars and now the empress she wears them as a crown um out of pride out of symbolism of what you can achieve and you're really coming into this place where you infinitely know that you are capable of achieving whatever it is you want you have all the tools to do so and you're already in this place of growth you've already seen your life grow so much and it's like growth just creates more growth for you um you're never going to be in a place of like you're never going to be in this place again is what i'm hearing you might like obviously life is full of struggles so you are going to come back to struggles but you're always going to be able to handle them you're always going to be prepared and to you're always going to be prepared to deal with them from a place of purity and softness and even here he wears the red robe always is going to be guided by your passion and love okay let's take some moonology cards Yeah, I really feel like passion is a huge thing for you guys. For some of you, it might be a part of your life purpose um, because it brings you healing and it helps you to heal others too. Emotions are running high for you right now because you are keeping all of those locked in um, and it's like they're all coming up and boiling to the surface. Uh, but a fiery climax approaches, okay? As I said, we do have some changes coming that are going to bring endings and even here you are going to have a quick change where you come from a place of desire and love and passion um, instead of fear and entrapment. And then we have have hate pardon me, have faith in your dreams and I think now you need to have that faith in your dreams but I see in the future you're always going to have that faith, you're always going to have that trust because with the magician it's like you know exactly what you're capable of and that you can have whatever you please, whatever you want in life and you're always going to seek things in life that serve you in a positive healthy way and that serve others in a positive healthy way. It's never going to be manic or it's never going to be... Um, malicious either it's always going to be from this place of love okay so really really beautiful changes that are coming your way group number two so i'm very excited for you and i'm really proud of you um these are some major transformations that you're going through but it's all for the best so i'm sending you so 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 much love and if you'd like a personal reading with me my email is in the description box below and i hope to see you all in the next reading can you please let me know in the comments if this inspired you if it made you feel positive um and well I guess just good um yeah because I I want to start doing more of those readings so I'd love your feedback okay thank you I'll see you in the next reading okay hello group number three from Josie Amethyst Let's see what comes through from the tarot for the energy. All right, straight up we have the Queen of Cups in reverse. We have the Seven of Swords. We have the Ten of Wands. We 
have the seven of pentacles. So we have two sevens here. So similar to group number one, I feel like you guys are coming from a place of um, high high um, value for intellect and um, a place of um, integrity and a need for honesty. I feel like you guys need honesty in your life and you have to be um, honest with yourself and honest with others in order to feel safe. Okay, and then we have the Hermit in an unfixed energy. So it could be in reverse. It could be in alignment. We'll see how the reading goes. So I feel like with the Queen of Cups in reverse, um, um, you guys aren't really in alignment with your emotional needs right now. I feel like you kind of jumped off the cliff um, and tried to run away from your emotional pain. Um, and it's just brought you into this place of like this fortress that you can't escape where you are being forced to kind of open the cup. Um, open Pandora's box and face these emotions now because if you don't, there's no way you're going to get out. Um, but with the Seven of Swords, yeah, I do feel like you guys have been deceived um, in a sense of something to do with what you're passionate about. This could be love, this could be work, this could be um, your personal values, something that you're really passionate about and um, that you had a partner in that you thought had the same passions as, as you has deceived you, um, which is a very specific message. But um, yeah, it's like something that represented your passion or someone who reflected those passions has deceived you. Um, and you have had to do a lot of work and a lot of labor, I suppose, to heal from that deception and it's really come from this place of practicality like well this is what I have to do this is what I have to do to fix this you know I can't just leave it as it is I have to get this over and done with I have to end this problem um but I feel like you previously weren't um expressing your passions before and so you were having them mirrored to you in the form of work or a person or something that you were doing or even owned um so that you could live vicariously through them um and it was teaching you how to express your passion but they deceived you and now you come from this place of great now i've got to fix this now i've got to do all the work myself but it's almost like it kind of warmed you up what you observed in them how when you live vicariously through that um, manifestation of your desires and your passions it has taught you and kind of guided you in how to live that on your own and this is why this person had to leave because you couldn't keep on living vicariously through them you had to learn how to be that person or be that thing yourself and that's why we have the seven of pentacles here because as i said you guys like to learn you're very in you 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 value intellect and you like to observe and so through your observation you've learned how to be that thing that you admire or be like that person that you admire um, and integrate that into your own personality and now you're trying to find growth in that you're trying to see how you can continue to um, help that part of yourself expand in a positive way pardon me and find growth um, in a positive way from that but um it's a bit of a hairy situation i'm hearing which is like very um colloquial but um like it's like you are seeing the growth but it needs a bit of grooming um yeah you need to trim away some old fears um yeah basically just fears some old fears and find some healing and allow um allow yourself to heal yourself basically like just keep on moving forward keep on fighting don't give up do what you have to do because the more and more you do 
I feel like you really learn from experience. So the more experience you have, the more healing you're going to get. And you are going to have a time to rest. You are going to have a time to heal in a place of space. You'll get some head space, I'm hearing. Um, and it doesn't mean you have to let go of whatever you were doing. That's not what I'm saying. Um, in fact, I feel like that's going to be really secure. Whatever it is you're trying to help grow is going to remain secure. You're still going to have a hand on it and still going to be able to manage it if you need to, but you can do it from afar or you can do it, know that it's secure, know that it's protected, know that it's safe whilst you go away and rest. And you can check in on it and observe it when you need to, okay? Whatever this passion is, whatever this thing is that you're trying to grow, maybe a relationship, maybe a job, um, maybe um, maybe just a part of yourself that you're trying to help grow. It could be anything, but whatever it is, it really is coming from a place of passion. Um, it's really coming from a place that you never used to let out, okay? You were ashamed of. You're learning how to overcome that shame and you will you will overcome that shame and you're going to do so from a place of love for yourself, pure love, okay? From a place of knowingness as well. I feel like um, you will be seeking a lot of advice from your spirit guides, from the universe, from people around you so that you can find clarity um, and you're doing that from a place of love for yourself because you no longer want to be... I feel like you felt like you were withering away when you weren't allowing yourself to be who you really are when you were feeding that shame. And now it's like, and you, you've you been trying to hide that. It's like you've been wearing a mask. You've been trying to hide that. Um, so you're trying to seek advice from all sorts of people and you're cutting away people from your life, cutting cords, cutting ties with people who don't support you um, in the truth of who you are, Okay. We have the Ten of Pentacles. So I feel like once you do that, it's just going to be like magic. It's just going to be like you're going to see so much growth. It's unbelievable the amount of growth that is going to be coming into your life thanks to this. Um, so much healing. People who celebrate that with you. People who you can share that with. Um, I feel like some of you are... Um, you pursue these things, these desires, whatever it is this is about with other people, with the help of other people. Um, and they are not going to be like this deception. They're not going to have that same um, low vibration. They're going to really suit you. They're really going to match your high vibration. They're really going to be a part of the puzzle, be a part of, you know, a piece of the puzzle. They're really going to be kind of like a part of the equation that makes up your... Ten of Pentacles life, your fulfillment, and you really value that, and you see new birth from that, new growth from that, okay, and it's everything that you're trying to build here, you're going to see it manifest, okay, and then it's it's going to help you chase even more dreams, um, help you realize new dreams as well that you never would think that you could go for before, that you would never have even have... Um, constituted I think is the word I'm looking for um, as something uh, they're confusing there's someone talking to me that has really um, high grammar <laughs> and they're not words that I really understand <laughs> but they're saying constituted um, never you never would have been I don't know, you just, it would never have occurred to you to have done this. And now you're going after it. Not only has it occurred to you, but you're going after it. Um, and you're doing that really happily, really proudly and um, from a balanced place, from a loving place. You're happy to take risks, okay? And then we have the five of cups. I feel like that old you that felt like everything was lost, like um, that passion that you wanted, you know, that you might be looking for now, 
you feel like that it's just no you've lost all of your opportunities to see that happen um think life has to keep on moving the current has to keep on going and you have to move with it and it's like you're trying to hold on to that as much as you can before it washes away before the rain takes it away before you have to you know realize the pain of not seeing that manifest but this is kind of where you are now but that is all changing that is all changing and you are going to have everything that you want everything that you desire and you're going to reflect on that in the future when you're in this place of like this entirely new you this entirely like superior energy that is an evolution of who you are now a really powerful version happy person um and version of who you are now you're going to reflect on that and um realize its purpose realize its place okay because it's actually what um forged your personal power and the tools that you needed to move forward um into these dreams and then we have the sun and you're just going to see clearly why you had to go through this and you're going to throw around kind of your happiness you're going to share it so boldly so proudly from a place of kindness and love and purity um face the sun you'll always be facing the sun even you know when it's nighttime and it's dark you'll look out to the moon and realize that the sun is reflecting off it that's what creates its light you're never going to feel that dark again obviously life ebbs and flows and you will have those times of darkness always but it's never going to be that essence again you're never going to experience that you're going to realize its purpose have wisdom come from it um and access i'm hearing your divine femininity regardless if you're a male or female i feel like this is really going to be you accessing your divine feminine side as well um and you'll realize that everything that you've been through, all this pain, were the building blocks of your happiness, okay? And you're just going to be so proud and un unabashed of who you are and your passions and your desires. And <laughs> I feel like you even could walk around naked in front of people and you wouldn't care because, like, it's your body, you know you're beautiful, and you know what? Why not? <laughs> Why not let people enjoy it? <laughs> So I feel like, yeah, you're really going to change. You won't recognize yourself in the future. Um, but it's almost like you're going to look onto yourself from this place of motherliness, um, fatherliness in the future and from a loving perspective and realize its place of who you, who you are now and the experience you're going through. Uh, and look at the bottom of the deck with the world. The cycle is completed and it's tied with a red ribbon. Okay, this network, this web that you're building is going to be healed by your passion, by pursuing your passion. Okay. Let's take some monology cards. Ooh, we have a new romantic cycle begins. Okay, and then we have work through your fears. So this could be quite literally a new romantic cycle is beginning, new moon in Libra as well. Um, but what I'm really fo focusing on here is the balance and romance in the um, truest definition of the world actually means something dramatic, something um, like so dramatic it could be in the theatre kind of thing. It doesn't necessarily mean love. It means drama. So a new dramatic cycle begins um, could be, is, is what I'm feeling, is a more interpretation here. But it's a balanced thing. It's, it's something that, yes, it's going to be dramatic, but it's going to bring you balance. It's going to rebalance the scales. It's going to see you through to a point of completion to the full moon, okay? Um, it's a time of transformation and equality, temperance, okay? And then we have work through your fears, new moon and Scorpio. So um, it's actually like, it's interesting, like I'm noticing like 
the claws and I'm seeing balance again. Um, I've been having some interesting thing, thoughts about fear lately. Um, I My perspective on fear has been that you need to completely overcome them, that you need to remove them, that you need to abolish them. But I've been doing some um, shadow work and some meditations. Oh, look, where have you and your loved ones are safe? And um, what I've come to realize is that you need to, to overcome your fears does not mean to see them gone, to see them abolished, to see them incinerated. It means to learn from them and have the courage to push through those fears when they arise and allow them to help you to grow. Um, I think fears can fade with time and change, but um, you can't just actively decide to get over a fear. You know, it doesn't matter how much deep psychological work you do, how much meditation you do, you can't just get rid of it. Fear is there for a reason, it's to help you learn a lesson. Um, and it has its place, okay? It's like the pain receptors in our bodies are important. They remind us when we are doing something unsafe, something not, um, something risky, okay? So that we don't completely burn our hand or chop it off. <laughs> so fear is somewhat similar in that it's kind of like our pain receptors to remind us what our boundaries are and we can expand those fears and create some wiggle room and sometimes those fears no longer have a place but they are there to teach us lessons they are there to guide us in life through transformations and that has been my biggest lesson the last couple of days is um I should consider fear my friend because it is what has protected me and helps me to grow and find wisdom as long as I do not let it stop me from going after things that come from a place of love and inspiration, okay? As long as they do not guide my actions. But like a good friend, they can give me some advice on how to navigate a situation, okay? So I feel like that is something that maybe would be good for you to know and understand to work through your fears and remember that you and your loved ones are safe always okay okay group number three that is all i have for you i'm sending you so much love and light and i really hope that that message helped you um if you'd like a personal reading with me, then my email's in the description box below. I would be so grateful if you could please in the comments let me know if this message was healing for you and helped you feel positive and light um, because I'm trying to um, find topics which um, are healing and don't incite negativity in people. So um, please let me know uh, so that I can determine what readings to do in the future based off your feedback. And um, I hope to see you in the next reading. Ciao.